Hi, I'm Alan Santos. I'm a product manager at Red Hat for the JBoss Enterprise Data Grid. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about what an Enterprise Data Grid does and how it allows you to scale your applications. So, let's say you're an application developer and you have successfully written an application you have a number of happy users. Most likely, that application is going to speak to a database. The database is going to give the users the information that they need and it's going to make sure that your application gets the information in a manner that keeps it consistent, keeps your users happy. So, what happens when you succeed a bit? Well, you're introducing more users. And if you're like most developers, you've planned for success up to a certain point, you may find yourself at a place where your users are scaling beyond the capacity of your system. And what's going to happen is your system's going to be placed under load and you're going to end up with more unhappy users. At that point, you have a couple of options. One of the things that people will do is they'll scale up by adding more servers. Essentially, moving the workload from this server and spreading it amongst the two. But what really ends up happening is that you're probably just pushing the problem out to the database because most scalability problems occur not in the process but in the, in the disk. When these applications now fight for the same piece of information up here in the disk, it ends up actually exacerbating the problem and making it worse. So you end up with even more unhappy users. So what's another option? Well, another option might be to scale the database. But databases are very expensive. They have very high licensing costs, and they generally require a team of people to keep them up to date and provide them special care and handling. On top of that, your application now has to become aware uh, that you're using more than one database. And you have to make sure that you're writing the correct information to the right database at the right time. You have to make sure that the information stays in sync, and you're adding a lot of complexity and overhead to your code, and you're still not solving your happy user problem. Another alternative is to take better advantage of the resources that you have on the application server and the application that you have. Most applications don't use all the memory that they have on a machine. And it turns out that memory is a great place to store information that your users need. Your application has access to it very quickly. You don't find yourself bogged down on disk, and you don't have to worry about an additional database. The problem, though, is that machines and processes can sometimes go away, and you can lose information, leaving your users in a bad place. So, what a cache will do will essentially keep a chunk of memory in sync with the database. It does the hard work for you. It makes sure that your users have the right information that they need, and it makes sure the right information is put back in the right form. When you have a cache, you actually can scale up your users based on your application and the machines that it goes in. It avoids the overhead of going to disk and the cache is much more efficient and generally avoids contention over reading information from the disk. The problem with this approach, though, is that memory is abundant, but it's not infinite. So what happens is, eventually, as more users come on board, your caches will fill. And you'll find yourself right back where you were with an inability to scale your happy users. And you'll find you have more unhappy users. So this is where a data grid adds on top of a cache. A data grid essentially lets you keep your caches equal at a known state and lets you share information amongst your caches as well as the database. In this scenario, when we've added one more process, we've essentially doubled the size of the information we can store in memory. That helps your scale significantly. What, what the JBoss Enterprise Data Grid does above and beyond a regular cache is it lets you move the cache out of the application process and keeps it in a standalone cluster of machines that do nothing other than keep information in sync with the database and provide more information to your caches. The end result is an application that performs up to three orders of magnitude faster than one without a cache, an application that doesn't incur the complexity and costs associated with additional databases, and the ability to scale your users based on the amount of memory you can bring to the picture. Thank you.